أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم Fasakalahuma, but then he advanced, and you know, stopping the others, he watered for their flocks. Summa tawalla ila will, and then he returned to something somewhere in there by the shadow, the shelter. Fakala Rabbi inni lima anzal ta'ilayya min khairin fatir. Now this is a very important du'a. A man in his extreme distress, extreme distress. He knows nobody. He is a stranger here. He has nothing with him. Penniless. Tired like anything. Maybe his clothing was also, you know, shattered. He's crossing the whole desert on foot. Now he said, Oh my Lord, whatever good you throw in my lap, I am in need of it. You know, there are certain beggars who say, well, I'll take five rupees, no less. But there is a beggar who says, okay, even a single penny, I'll accept. So this was the condition of Musa, alayhi salatu was salam. Rabbi inni lima anzal Whatever good you can send to me, I am in its need. Ilayyamin khairin faqir. Fajaatu ehdahuma damshi al So one of those two girls, they came to him, walking shyfully. Kalat, and she said, In Abi Yadruk, my father is calling you. Liyajjiya kajira masakay talana. To give you the wage or reward that you watered our flock. Falama jahu, when he came to him, waqassa alayhi al-qasas, and he narrated the whole story. Kala la takhaf. That old man said, now don't fear. Now you have come away from that zone of danger for you. You are, you have been delivered from those people who are evil doers. Now what the person of this Shaykh of Madian, there are two opinions. One is that he was Hazrat Shwaib alayhi salatu wasalam. And the other is that no. It was much later, much after uh, Hazrat Shwaib's time. And I, you know, subscribe to the second view. He was not Shwaib alayhi salatu was salam. The conditions which are depicted here, they don't fit in. The life of a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether during the period when he is giving the call to the people and conveying the message, or to the period when, you know, the wrongdoers have been exterminated, and then a new generation comes up, both these pictures, they are not fitting here. So one of the two girls said, Oh, my father, hire him. Definitely, the first person to hire is the one who is strong and trustworthy. Now, this was their own experience. How Moses, you know, advanced toward the shepherds and stopped them, and he made way for the flocks of these girls. He was strong. Nobody could challenge him. Secondly, he never cast a glance, a lustful, lustful glance at the girls. You know, about this thing, you know, women are very sensitive. They can understand. You know, if you are looking upon a woman, she very well knows what is in your heart. She can feel it. So they saw that there is nothing in his eyes. And he is absolutely trustworthy person. He is not a lustful person, not a person given to his worldly and bodily desires. That 
old man said, I desire, O Musa, to marry one of these two daughters of mine to you on the condition, ala anta ajurani samani ahedaj. But the condition is that you have to serve me for eight years. Fainat mant ashram. But if you can complete ten, fatmin indik. This will be a favor from you. Naafilat alag. So this will be a favor from you. Wa maauridu na shukkalat. And I will not be very harsh upon you. Satajnu inshaAllah min salihin. InshaAllah, God willing. You will find me that I am a righteous person. Qala zalika baini wa bainak. Musa said, okay, this is settled and decided between me and you. Ayyama la jalani qazaytu. Any one of these two terms, either eight years or ten years, whichever I complete, fala udwana alayya, then there should be no injustice to me. Wallahu ala ma nafulu wakil. And what we are agreeing today, this agreement that we are making, Allah is a witness to that. So if I say, okay, eight years completed, now let me go with my wife, you will have to do it. But if I like, I will serve for two years more. It, was, it will be optional. فَلَمَّا قَضَى مُوسَى ajal. So when Musa completed the term, وَسَارَ بِأَهْلِهِ And now he departed with his family. آنَ سَمِنْ جَانِ بِتُورِ نَارَ he saw on the side of the Mount Tur fire. Now this incident we have read many times. He said to his family, Unkosu, stay here, wait here. In the Anastonara, I have seen fire. Lali Atiku Minhabe Khabarin. Maybe I can bring some news from there and we get the guidance from there. Aw Jazwatim Minanar or a brand out of the fire so that you may warm, la lakum tastaloom, so that you can warm yourself. Falamma ataha, when he came to that fire, Nudia, it was called, min shati il wadil aymane fil buqatil mubarakate min ashajarate. He was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed ground, from the tree. O Musa, ya Musa, inni an Allahu rabbu ta'alameen. I am Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Wan al qiyasak, cast down your staff. Falam mara tahtazu kanha jannun. And when he saw it, that it was moving as if it was a snake or a serpent. Walla mudbiran walam yaqib. He turned back and retreating, and returned not. Then Allah said, Ya Musa, akbil walla tahaf. Come back and don't fear. In Nakamin al Aminin, you are absolutely in, in secure and absolutely in peace. Usluk yadaka fi jabika takhruj baida min ghayr suin. Now you enter your, heart, your hand into your bosom. And now when you take it out, it will be white without any evil, without any disease. Wazmum ilayka janaha kamin rahab. And you. Press your arm with your side if you feel some fear. Fazaneka burhanane. Now these are the two arguments, two miracles that I am giving to you. Min Rabbika from your Lord. Ila Firaun wa Malayhi. Towards Firaun and his chiefs. One was that the staff turns into serpent. The other was that when he took his hand into his bosom and then when he brought it out, it was shining white without any disease. But the third thing he gave as a precaution, it was not a sign, it was not a miracle, it was a subjective feeling. Whenever you feel that there, you are feeling some fear, then you press your arm with your side, so fear will go. So this was going to be a subjective type of thing, not a miracle to be shown to others. So the miracle was two, Burhanan. <laughs> Verily, they, are, they have become a transgressing people. He said, My Lord, I killed a person of, of their nation. I fear when I go there, they will kill me. Now there is my brother, Harun, who 
he is more eloquent, eloquent and fluent than myself. Farsilho, Maria. So you send him with me, Ridaan, as a helper. Yusabdekoni, he should confirm me. Inni akhafu an yukazibun, because I fear that they will belie me. Qala sanashaddu azaduk, azuduk, azudaka bi akhika. Allah said, we shall soon strengthen your arms with your brother. Wa naj'alu lakuma sultanan. And we shall give you both the authority. Fala yasiluna ilaykuma. They will not be able to come near you, to harm you. Bi ayatina antuma wa mani tabakuma al-ghalibun. Now this bi ayatina you might be seeing. Before this is also a sign of stop. Jeem. And after the ayatuna again a sign, and three you know dots above jim on both sides. This is called in Quranic terminology muanaka. Muanaka means you can read this word by ayatuna with the preceding sentence. Wanajalu nakuma sultanun fala yaseluna ilaykuma be ayatuna. They will not be able to come near you to harm you when you will have these two signs. And miracles with you. So due to these miracles, they will not be able to harm you. Or you read it with the next sentence. The ayatina antuma wa manittabakuma al ghalibun. Due to our signs, you and those people who will follow you, they will be victors and they will be triumphants. So this is called Muanika. This word can be attached to the preceding sentence or it can be attached to the following sentence. فَلَمَّا جَاهُ مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا So when Musa came to them with our clear signs آیَاتِنَا بَيَّنَاتٍ قَالُوا مَا هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرُ الْمُفْتَرَى They said, this is nothing but forged sorcery. وَمَا سَمِعْنَا بِهَذَا فِي آبَائِنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ We have not listened to such things which you are saying that there is a creator of the world and he has sent you as a messenger to us. Oh, we have never heard these things. We never listened to these things among our ancient forefathers. And Musa said, Rabbi Alamu bimanjabil huda min indihi. My Lord knows best. Who has brought guidance from him, from his presence? And for whom should be the the farther away, Akhbat al-Dar, that abode of Akhirah. Innahu la yuflehu zhalimun. Verily, the evil doers will not be successful or prosperous. Wa qala Fir'aun, ya ayuhal malahu. And Fir'aun said, O my chiefs, ma alimtu lakum min ilahim zaidi. I know of no other God for you except me. I am the only God. I am the ruler. I am the sovereign. I am the God. Who is this God about whom Musa is talking? So, O Haman, kindle a fire to bake the bricks of clay. Now build for me a lofty tower. So that I can ascend high. And then I try to see the, the Lord and the God of Moses. As far as I can understand and think, he is a liar. So he was arrogant, and not only who, also his armies fell out in the, earth, in the land. They didn't have any right for that. And they thought that they will not be returned to us. So we seized him, Firaun, and his armies. And we threw them into the sea. Now see what was the end of the evil doers. And we had made them, the leaders who were calling towards fire. They were calling people towards the fire of hell. And on the day of resurrection and judgment, 
they will not be they will not be able to get any help from any side. What bana hum fi hazi dunya lana, and will be made curse to follow them in the life of this world by yom al qiyamah, and that curse will follow them on the day of judgment also. Wa hum min al hum min al makbuhin, and they will be the ones thrown away from God's mercy. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا أَرَكْنَا قُرُونَ الْأُولَى And after we destroyed the former generation, we gave Musa alayhi salatu wa salam the book, that is Torah. بَسَائِرَ لِلنَّاسِ It was, it contained enlightenments for mankind, وَهُدًا and a guidance, وَرَحْمَةً and a mercy, لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ So that they may be admonished and reminded. وَمَا كُنْتَ بِجَانِبِ الْغَرْبِيِّ O Muhammad, you were not present, صلى الله عليه وسلم, on the western side of that, that mount tour, is قَدَيْنَا إِلَىٰ مُوسَى الْأَمْرُ When we decreed the commandment to Musa, وَمَا كُنْتَ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ And you were not there as witness, you were not present. That is to say, this is all revelation which is coming to you, you were not there, you didn't know these things before. وَلَكِنَّا نِشَعْنَا قُرُونًا فَتَتَاوَلَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْعُمُرِ But we created, raised many a generation, and when long were the ages that passed over them, وَمَا كُنْتَ سَاوِيًا فِي أَهْلِ الْمَدْيَانَ And you were not there, dwelling among the people of Madian, تَتْلُوا عَلَيْمَ آيَاتِنَا Reciting to them our ayat, our revelations, وَلَكِنَّا كُنَّا مُرْسِلِينَ But we are the senders. We have sent you, and we have pointed you a messenger, and we are sending you all these revelations. Baba Kunta be jani be tour is not there, na. Nor were you present on the side of the Mount Tour when we had called. Walakin rahmatam min Rabbika, but this is all mercy from your Lord. The tunz did a common so that you warn the nation. And now who are meant here? Quraysh. The tunz did a common so that you warn the nation. مَا تَعْهُمْ مِنْ نَزِرِ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ To whom no warner has come before you. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ So, hoping, hopefully, they might be not admonished or they might be reminded. وَلَوْ لَا أَن تُصِيبَهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ بِمَا قَدَّمَ تَعْدِيهِمْ And, lest if an affliction should befall them, due to what their hands have sent forward, فَيَقُولُ And then they say, رَبَّنَا لَوْ لَا أَرْسَلْتَ إِلَيْنَا رَسُولَا O oh Allah, why didn't you send a messenger first? We would have followed your revelations. And we, and we must have been among the believers. But now that this truth has come to them from our presence, now they are saying, why he has not been given the miracles like the ones which were given to Musa? أَوَلَّمْ يَكْفُرُوا بِمَا أُوْتِيَ مُوسَى Was those people, didn't they belie and didn't they reject what was given to Musa? All the miracles were shown to those people. Nobody came to believe. مِنْ قَبْلِ قَالُوا سِحْرَانِ تَذَاهَرَا Now they are saying these are two sorceries supporting each other. This is a reference to Torah and Quran. Because they do both support each other. Quran is also supporting Torah. It was a book from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It contained light. Fiha Udam Vanur. There was light and there, were, there was the guidance for Bani Israel. And then in the same way there are the prophecies in Torah about Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So these are supporting each other. Sihran Tadahara. These are two sorceries who are supporting each other. وَقَالُوا إِنَّا بِكُلِّ الْكَافِرُونَ We reject both of them. We neither believe in Torah nor we believe in Quran. قُلْ فَاتُوا بِكِتَابٍ مِنْ اِنْدِنَاهِ وَأَهْدَى مِنْهُمَا اَتَّبَيْهُ Say to them, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, Okay, if you reject Torah, if you reject Quran, now if you are in كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ If you are truthful, bring forth any other scripture from God. It might have been sent by God. قُلْ فَاتُوا بِكِتَابٍ مِنْ اِنْدِ اللَّهِ هُوَ أَهْدَى مِنْهُمَا Who might be more on guidance than these two books? I will follow that. If you have a book 
Well, bring forth. I will follow that book. I am following Torah also. I am following Quran also. Why shouldn't I follow if there is any other book sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you have anyone, present it. فَإِلَّمْ يَسْتَجِيبُوا لَكَ And now if they don't respond to you, they can't produce another book before you, فَعَلَمْ Then you should come to know. You should be convinced. أَنَّ مَا يَتَّبِعُونَ أَهْوَاهُمْ That they are following only their lusts and desires and nothing else. وَمَنْ أَضَلُّ مِمَّنْ اتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ بِغَيْرِ هُلَمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ And whoever is more astray than the person who follows his lusts and his desires, his animal instincts, without any guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't guide such evil-doing people. وَلَقَدْ وَصَّلْنَا لَهُمُ الْقَوْلَ الْعَلَّمِ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ Actually, we have made our word continuous for them. You know, this way has been continuous throughout the human history. From Adam, because it was said to Adam, we have read in Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-Araf also, فَإِمَّا يَاتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا فَمَنْ تَبَعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا خَوْفُنَ لَهِمْ وَلَاهُمْ يَحْزَلُونَ Whenever the guidance would come to you, so whosoever follows the guidance which comes from us, then there will be no fear for them, no grief. But... وَالَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا وَكَذَّبُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا Those people who will reject and belie our revelations. أُولَائِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِهُمْ فِيَا خَالِدُونَ They will be the people of fire and they will stay therein. Now this has been continuous. Allah sent Torah and Zabur and so many others, booklets, suhafs, sahifah, small books. They have been so of Ibrahim or Musa. Although today we don't know where are Sof of Ibrahim, which are the Sof of Ibrahim, but Quran mentions Sof of Ibrahim of Musa. He was also given some scriptures. Maybe Nuh alayhi salam was also given some scriptures. And there is a new research in India done by a French researcher, scholar. He says, Manu in Bharat is Maha Nuh. Nuh. Maha. Maha, they this, add this, this word. Mahadev, Mahabharat, the great, the great Bharat. So Maha, the great Nuh, Maha Nuh, and his Manu. And Manu Savarthi is the Sharia that was given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wa This is a researcher, French, Dubais. And he has worked for 40 long years on the scriptures, Indian scriptures, the religious holy books of the Hindus. So maybe... وَلَقَدْ وَسَّلْنَا لَهُمُ الْقَوْلُ We have been continuously sending our word for the guidance of the humanity so that they should be admonished, they should be reminded. الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِهُمْ بِهِ يُؤْمِنُونَ As to those who we gave the book before it, they believe in it. وَإِذَا إِطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِمْ قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِهِ And when it is recited unto them, they say, we believe in it. إِنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّ this is the truth from our Lord. Inna kunna min qablihi muslimin. Actually, we were Muslims even before this. Now this is an incident that took place. You know that some of the Sahaba, they had gone to Abyssinia, taking a refuge over there. It was in the year 5th, after the beginning of Wahi. So the people of Abyssinia were introduced to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the Sahaba went there, they came to know. And Jafar al-Tayyar, he recited the ayat of Surah Al-Maryam in the court of, uh, of um, Magus or the Jashi. But after that, a group, a deputation of about 20 Abyssinians came over to Mecca to see what is happening here and who is that person to whom, you know, this, these revelations have come and to listen the revelation from Muhammad Wasallam. When they came to Mecca, you know, then these ayat were recited unto them. And they were so much impressed. They wept. And they said, it is all truth. And we were formerly, we believed in it. But these are the things. So this, this is the incident meant. وَإِذَا يُطْلَى عَلَيْمَا عَلَيْهِمْ قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِهِ إِنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّنَا This is the truth from our Lord. إِنَّا كُنَّا مِنْ قَبْلِهِ مُسْلِمِينَ And we were Muslims. We, were, we have surrendered to our Lord even before listening to Quran. Because they were Christians, practicing Christians. 
So they were according to the teaching of Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam, they were Muslims. Ulaika yutona ajrahum marratain. They are the people who will be given their reward twice. Why? They were already Muslims. They believed in Torah. They believed in Injil. They believed in Moses. They believed in Jesus. Now they have come to believe in Muhammad also, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So actually, they deserve double reward. Those will be given their reward twice over because they endured. مَرْوَتَيْنِ بِمَا سَبَرُوا وَيَدْرَعُونَ بِالسَّيِّيَةِ بِالْحَسَنَةِ السَّيِّيَةِ And they are defending against evil with what is good. وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And whatsoever we have given them, they spend for our pleasure. وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا اللَّغْوَ عَارَضُوا عَنْهُ And when they talk, when they listen to the vain talk, the incident took place when they were going back. The news reached Abu Jahl also that a group of 20 Abyssinians had come to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and when they listened to the revelations, according to the claim of Muhammad, that the revelations were from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were very much impressed, and they said, we believe in them, and now they were going back. So he said, look to these peoples. They are the most, you know, uh, bevakuf people, you know, foolish people on the surface of the earth. They came, they had a better deen than the, the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now they came here and now they are going after they have enslaved themselves to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the correct word. When you accept someone as messenger of Allah, you have to obey him. So as if you have now become a slave with, to, to him, although we are slaves to Allah, not to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but we follow him. All his commands we have to obey. Atiullah wa atiyu rasul. You have to obey Allah and you have to obey the messenger also. But when they heard this, that Abu Jahl is saying, this, this type of things, they just turned away from it. And they said, for us are our deeds, whatever we do. And for you are your deeds, whatever you do. Salamun alaykum, peace be to you. La nabtagil jahileen, we don't want to engage with the ignorant people. Inna ka la tahdi man ahbabta wa lakinna la yahdi man yasha wa huwa a'lamu bil muhtadeen. This is also a very important ayah of the Qur'an. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have not been given the authority to bring to the right path any person whom you like. You cannot bring to the right path any person whom you like. It's the prerogative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he brings to the right path whomsoever he wishes. This ayah, you know, is very relevant, especially regarding Abu Talib. Abu Talib was the uncle of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He loved him. He protected him for ten long years at Makkah. Abu Talib. He gave him the cover of Banu Hashim because he was the chief of Banu Hashim, the house of Hashim. So they were backing Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, protecting Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Nobody could do anything against Muhammad, against the person of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it was only after he died that they could take the decision that now we can kill Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now there is no Abu Talib. Abu Talib is gone. But Abu Talib never believed in Muhammad, or at least he never declared his belief in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it is given in Sirah that when he was dying at that time also, the Prophet said to him, Oh my dear uncle, say this shahada, this testimony, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah, in my ear, so that I can testify on the day of judgment that you had come to believe. But he said, No. Muhammad, I don't want that the women of Bakka should say that Abu Talib was fearful of death and at the time of death he accepted it. So he went from this world in kufr. How much Muhammad must have desired that he should be, he should come to believe, we can't imagine. But no, inna kalata man ahbabta, you can't guide or bring to the right path anybody whom you like. You might love him 
actually gives guidance and brings to the right path whomsoever he wants. And he very well knows the people who are ready and who would wish to be guided. Unless this wish to be guided is there, this intention to go to the right path is there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't guide. He guides only who wants to be guided. Some of the people, they said, O Muhammad if we follow you, if we follow the guidance that is with you, we shall be snatched away from our land. People will take, and take us away, will kill us. Now the answer from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, Avalam numakkin nahum haraman aminan. Have we not made this, this sanctuary, this haram of Makkah peaceful and secure for them? Yujba ilahi samaratu kulli shay. Fruits of everything are being drawn to it from every direction. This is for a sustenance. Billa dunna from our own presence. Walakin naksarahum la yalamun. But most of them don't know the reality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you. And even if you are killed, as there was a person, you know, Hazrat Sumayya radiallahu ta'ala anha, and her husband, Hazrat Yasir radiallahu anha, they were killed, tortured and killed by Abu Jahl. So what? They got the shahada. وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ يُقْتَلُوا فِي سَبْلِ اللَّهِ أَمْضَوَاتِ وَلَا حِيَاؤُنْ وَلَاكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُوا They have attained the real life. So why to fear? You have to obey Allah. You have to follow the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then whatever comes, you have to bear it. وَكَمْ أَحْلَقْنَا مِنْ قَرْيَةٍ بَطِرَتْ مَا يِشَتَهَا And how many townships we destroyed. They were very proud of their their way of living. فَتِلْكَ مَسَاكِنُهُمْ لَمْ تُسْكَمْ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا Now there are those ruins of their cities where they used to live and dwell. But after them, nobody lived in them except for very little time. وَكُنَّا نَحْنُ الْوَارِسِينَ And definitely, we are the inheritors. Everything will remain with us. People will go. One generation goes, the other inherits. The other also goes, the third generation inherits. And then whole humanity will pass away and everything in this world will remain as an inheritance for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ مُهْلِكَ الْقُرَىٰ And your Lord was not the one who would have destroyed any city. حَتَّى يَبْعَسَ فِي أُمِّهَا رَسُولًا But before sending in the central city a messenger. We have read this ayah in Surah Bani Sa'il also. وَمَا كُنَّا أَتَّى نَبْعَسَ رَسُولًا وَمَا كُنَّا نُعَزِّبُ حَتَّى نَبْعَسَ رَسُولًا So Allah Ta'ala has not been sending that type of chastisement where the whole nation, you know, is exterminated without sending a messenger who warns them, who conveys to them the warnings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And even if, after that, they stand where they were, they don't accept the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they are exterminated. So, Ummiha, Umm the mother town, in every country, there is the central town. That is why Ummul Qura is the name of Makkah. Makkah was the central town of the whole of the Arabian Peninsula. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to send, not to every city of that area, but the central city, there he sent a messenger. And if the people didn't accept him, then they were chastised. Whatsoever is given to you, whatever it is, it is just to fulfill the requirements of this life of this world. And in addition, it's also an adornment for you. Good things, good looking things, good furniture. All these utensils, very fine crockery, this, this becomes a sort of adornment. 
وَمَعِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ وَعَبْقَى أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ But whatever is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is much better, more precious, and it is lasting. It will remain forever. أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ So don't you have the understanding? أَفَمَا وَعَدْنَاهُ وَعَدًا حَسَنًا فَهُوَ لَاقِيهِ Now, such a person, whom we have made, with whom we have made a covenant, and that covenant is a good covenant, and he is going to meet it. Is he like the one kaman matanahu matal hayat in dunya? To whom we have given the material of this worldly life. Summa huwa yawm al-qiyamat min al-muhzareen. But on the day of resurrection, he will be brought in chains. He will be brought as a culprit, as a guilty person. Wa yawma yunadihim. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called them, فَيَقُولْ And he will say, أَيْنَ شُرَكَاءِ الَّذِينَ كُنْتُمْ تَزْرُمُونَ There are those whom you thought that they are associated with me. They are partners with me. قَالَ الَّذِينَ حَقَّ عَلَيْهُمُ الْقَوْلُ رَبَّنَا هَا أُولَاءِ الَّذِينَ أَغْوَيْنَا Then you know the people, those people on whom the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has proved true. That they are culprits and they are going to be punished in hell. They would say, Rabbana haulai lazina aghwan. These are the people who led us astray. Probably pointing towards their leaders. In every society, as I have been mentioning before, the leaders and malaul lazina, malaul qawmi lazina kazabu be ayatina, the leaders and chiefs of the nation, they were the opponents of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Opponents of Nuh alayhi salam, of Saleh alayhi salam, of Hud alayhi salam, and in the same way, the chiefs of Bakka, different houses of Bakka, the, the, the tribe was one, Quraysh, but this tribe was divided into houses. So these are Mani Hashim, they are the progeny of Hashim, they are Banu Umayyah, they are Banu Des, Banu Bakr, and so on and so forth. But you know, all the chiefs, you know, they were opposing Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. This, the common people would say, Oh Allah, they deceived us. We wanted to bring, to, to accept the call of Muhammad sallallahu but they came in the way. Rabbanaha ulai lazina agwaina, agwaina hum kama agwaina. Those people will retort immediately, well, we led you astray, because we were astray ourselves. Had we known the truth, we could have lead, led you to the truth, but we were astray. We were lost ourselves. So we took you also to the wrong path. Tabarrana ilayka ma kunna ma kanu yana yabudun. But O oh Allah, we declare that we are absolutely apart from them. They were not obeying us or following us. Actually, they were themselves had gone astray. Waqilan ushurakakum fadahum. And then it will be said, call those people, call those deities whom you thought they are the partners with Allah. Fadawahum, they will call them. Faram yastajibu lahum. But they will not answer them. Faramul azab, and they will see the chastisement, the punishment, the hell will come in there before them. Law annahum kanu yahtadun. And then they will think, word that they had been rightly guided. Wa yawma yunadihim. And then recall the day. When he will call them, فَيَقُولُ مَاذَا عَجَبْتُمُ الْمُرْسَلِينَ What was the answer that you gave to our messengers? We sent you the messengers. The messenger came to you. And they called them, you to, towards my path, towards me. What was your reply? فَعَمِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الْلَمْبَى Now everything will be lost to them and they will become, become blind for everything. That is, they, will be, they won't be able to give any reply. And they will not be able to consult each other also. What's, what answer we can give? We say it in Urdu, Siti Gum Ho Jayagi. When this will be the question, the Siti Gum Ho Jayagi, they will be, they're lost and they won't be able to give any answer. So as for those who repented, came to believe and did good deeds, فَعَسَا أَنْ يَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُفْلِحِينَ So there is hope that he will become among the prosperous ones, among the successful people. وَرَبُّكَ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَارُ 
and your Lord creates whatsoever He wills and chooses. Maakan alahumul khiyara. They don't have any choice or option. We have been created. I didn't have any option that I should be created or not created. You have been created. Allah never asked you that whether I should create you or not. It's His prerogative. It's His authority. In Rabbuka yakhluku ma yasha wa yakhtar. And your Lord creates whatsoever He wants and He chooses. Ma kana lahumul khiyara. They don't have any option and choice. Subhanallah wa ta'ala ma yashikun. Glorified be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and exalted be He. Above that they associate with Him. وَرَبُّكَ يَعْلَمُ مَا تُقِنُّ صُدُورُهُمْ وَمَا يَوْلِدُونَ And your Lord knows very well what their chests conceal within them and what they reveal. Allah knows both. وَهُوَ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوْ And He is Allah and there is no Allah except Him. لَهُ الْحَمْدُ All praise be to Him فِي الْأُولَى وَالْآخِرَةِ Both in this world also and in the Akhira, in the hereafter also. وَلَهُ الْحُكْمُ and he holds all authority. And towards him you will be returned. Say, have you considered? If Allah had made the night unending over you till the day of resurrection, which God other than Allah shall bring you light? Don't you listen? Say to them, Have you considered? Had Allah made the day permanent over you till the day of resurrection, who God, which God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could bring to you the night, taskununa fi, in which you can have a repose? Afalat of Sarun. So you don't see? Wa min rahmatihi jala lakumu laila wa nahar. It is out of his mercy that he has made for you night and day. Le taskunu fi. So that you can, that you can repose in the night. Wa le tabtagu bin fadlihi. And you can get and seek the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the day. وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And so that you are thankful to Allah. وَيَوْمَ يُنَادِيهِمْ فَيَقُولُ أَيْنَ شُرَكَاءِيَ الَّذِينَ كُمْتُمْ تَغْمُونَ Again and again and again this is coming. And the day when he will call them, where are those whom you asserted that they are my associates and my partners and my equals? وَنَذَعْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ شَهِيدًا And we shall... Draw out from each people a witness and say, فَقُلْنَا هَاتُ بُرْحَانَكُمْ Bring forth your, your, your arguments, your proofs. هَاتُ بُرْحَانَكُمْ فَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ الْحَقَّ لِلَّهِ They will come to know that the truth is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever He is saying is true. وَظَلَّ عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَفْتَرُونَ And whatsoever they had been fabricating, fabricating, well, He is our, our God and He will intercede on our behalf and such and such malaika, angels, we worship them also so that they can intercede on our behalf on the Day of Judgment. All these were fabrications and all these fabrications will be lost to them. They, they will go away, evaporate. In the Karun Akana in Qawmi Musa. Now there is a story of a person, Karun. He was an Israeli from the nation of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. But he was the collaborator with Fir'aun. He had much respect in the court of Fir'aun. And I think so that, you know, Fir'aun supported him. Just, you know, the Britishers, they used to support and give big contracts to people who were very faithful to them. And the contractors, they then accumulated a lot of wealth. They are the government contractors. They are the suppliers to the government, suppliers to the army. In the same way, this person was that type of a character. And he had a lot of wealth, lot of wealth, lot of wealth. That is why, you know, it is metaphorical. Karun, Karun ki dolat, wealth of Karun, Karun ka khazana, the treasure of Karun. That is the story. Inna Karun akana min qawmi Musa. Verily, Karun was also from the people of Moses. فَبَغَعَ عَلَيْهِمْ 
but he stood against them. Collaborated with the with the Firon. And we had given him the treasures. Ma inna mafateha hu la tanu abil usbate ure kuatin. Such that the very keys of them would be too heavy even for a group of very sturdy and strong people. So that was the extent of his wealth. The keys of his players were so heavy that a number of strong people only could, could carry them. Just recall when his people said to him, don't be overjoyed, over glad over what Allah has given you. In Allah, Allah, you have Allah doesn't like the boasting and overjoyous people. And try to seek the abode of the hereafter. In what Allah has given you, spend your money, your wealth, for some good causes, for the orphans, the widows, the needy, for the propagation of the true da'wah and call to the people, so, so that you have, you can have the good and virtues of the hereafter by your wealth. And it seems he was miserly also. Don't forget your own share from this world. You should spend your money on yourself also. You should dress yourself properly because you have the wealth. So, and you should do good to others as Allah has done good to you. Allah has given you wealth. So now you should do good to the people, the needy, the poor. وَلَا تَبْغِ فَسَادَ فِي الْأَرْضِ And don't create corruption in the land. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُ الْمُفْسِدِينَ Verily Allah doesn't like and doesn't love those people who are corruptors and mischief mongers in, the, in this land. قَالَ إِنَّمَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عِنْدِي He said, Verily all this wealth has been given to me on the basis of or due to the knowledge that I have. Allah has not given it to me. I have earned it out of my own skills, my intelligence, my knowledge. I could be an expert in such and such things. That is why I got this wealth. And you are saying that it is given to me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, no, no. I have earned it through my own knowledge and skill. قَالَ إِنَّمَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عِنْدِي أَوَلَمْ يَعْلَمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَهْلَكَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ مِنَ الْقُرُونَ Didn't he know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had destroyed before him also many a generation مَنْ هُوَ أَشَدُّ مِنْهُ قُوَّةً وَأَكْسَرَ جَمْعَةً who were more powerful than him and more wealthy than him لَا يُسْأَلُ عَنْ ذُنُوبِهِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And you know those guilty people were not, shall not be questioned about their sins. They will be straight off thrown into the hell. فَخَرَجَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فِي زِينَتِهِ Now one day he came out to show off his wealth to his people. In his pomp and show, فَخَرَجَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فِي زِينَتِهِ قَالَ الَّذِينَ يُرِيدُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا Now when people saw his pomp and show, his glittering dresses, his servants, you know, walking and marching beside him, in front of him, behind him, all these things. So those people who want only this worldly life, قَالَ الَّذِينَ يُرِيدُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا يَا لَيْتَ لَنَا مِسْلَ مَا أُوْتِيَ قَارُونَ Would that we had also be given the same as has been given to Karun. إِنَّهُ لَذُو حَزِّنْ عَظِيمٌ Surely he is a man of mighty good fortune. How fortunate he is. How blessed he is. How much Allah has given him. Would that Allah should have given us also. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُ الْعِلْمِ Said those people who had been given the knowledge. سَوَابُ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ لِمَنْ آمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا The reward of Allah is much better than this worldly wealth. For those who come to believe and do good deeds, وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَلَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا صَابِرُونَ But this position cannot be attained except by those who are persevering. 
فخسفنا به وبداره الارض سو وی میڈ دی ارتھ ٹو سوالو ہم اینڈ ہز ڈویلنگ دس سول ہز پیلس آل ہز ویلت آل ہز فیملی ہی ہم سیلف دے ور سوالوڈ بائی دی ارتھ دی ارتھ بروک اینڈ ایوری تھنگ ویٹ ان فخسفنا به وبداره الارض فما كان له من فئه ينصرونه at that time he didn't have any armies who could have self saved him who could have helped him bin dunillah besides allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ma kana min al-muntasirin and also it was not possible for him to avenge himself wa asba alladhina tamannaw ma kana hu bil amf now those people who on the previous day were wishing to be like him that would be that allah had given also us all this treasure and all this wealth in this world now they became fa asbah alladhina tamanna wa kanu bil amsi yaqulun now they started saying wa kan allah yafsutu rizqa liman yasha min ibadi wa yaqdir it's it's for allah subhanahu wa taala he outspreads the sustenance of this world for whom so ever he likes and he restricts them for whom so ever he likes wa kanahu laula an manna allah alaina la khasaba bina had allah subhanahu wa taala not done good to us and be gracious to us he would have made us also be swallowed by the earth bai kanahu la yuflihu al kafirun ah the disbelievers do not prosper now the final section of the surah the conclusion of all these discussions tilka darul akhiratu naj'aluha lil ladina la yuriduna uluwan fil ardi wala fasada this is the life this is the house of the hereafter darul akhira and we have assigned it and we shall keep it reserved for those who desire not exaltation in this world nor corruption they don't want to aspire to go high and to hold authority and to have more wealth and more potential no tilka darul akhirah to najaluha lil ladina la yuriduna uluwan fil ardi wala fasada this house of the hereafter we have kept reserved for those who are not very ambitious for this world if you are ambitious for this world you will get something you might have a bigger mansion a bigger villa a bigger house you might have a longer car you know a bigger television all these things you can have but you know but in the akhirah you don't have anything then tilka darul akhirah naj'aluha lil ladina la yuriduna uluwan fil ardi wala fasada wal aqibatu lil muttaqin and the happy end is only for those who fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah include us all in them man ja'a bil hasanati falahu khairum minha whoever will come there with something which is good good deeds for him will be much better than that allah will reward him much better than he had brought as good deeds wa man ja'a bil sayyati but whoever will come there with bad deeds fala yujzal ladina amilu sayyati illa ma kanu ya'malun but those who are doing evil they will not be recompensed or rewarded but exactly equal to what they had done when rewarding good allah will give more but when rewarding the bad he will give only that much punishment which you have earned inna alladhi farada alayk alquran لَرَادُكَ إِلَى مَعَادٍ Verily, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He who has ordained upon you this Qur'an, فَرَضَ عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنِ فَرَضَ Ordained upon you. What does it mean? He has ordained upon you to convey this Qur'an to your nation, to convey this Qur'an to the humanity at large through your ummah. He is, this is the duty of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. in the ladhi farada alayka alquran whosoever has put this burden on your shoulders this responsibility of conveying the message of allah subhanahu wa taala to humanity laraduka ila maad he will definitely take you back to the best end now what does it mean the best returning the best place of returning there are different views of the exegesis of the mufassirin regarding this number one is that you will return to makkah after hijrah 
There is an incident they narrate that when Muhammad Sallallahu was going towards Medina, while he was immigrating, he has chosen a route which was not mostly used because he feared that he will be followed. So, but then at a certain point, this was the highway going, and because he had chosen another route, at certain point, this new route that he adopted went and struck and ran into the that route, the normal highway. Now here when he was standing, if he turns to the right, it is to Medina. If he turns to the left, it is to Mecca. So at that junction, junction or juncture, the Prophet stood for some day, for some time, and he was grieved that he is not going towards Mecca, he is going away from Mecca. So at that time this ayah was revealed that we shall take you back to Mecca, don't grieve. A time will come, and it was only after eight years that he came back to Mecca, victorious. He conquered Mecca with 10,000 of his companions accompanying him. So one meaning is this, that some exegists, you know, have taken. But the others say, no, it is for Akhira. Ma'ad actually is mostly used in Quran for the hereafter. So in the af hereafter, best places are reserved for you. Maqam of Mahmud, Maqam of intercession. The station of intercession you will have. And you will be given the maqam of Mahmud, as we have read in Surah Bani. So that is the, but the assurance to Muhammad is, sallallahu alayhi wa that he will not fail. You will be triumphant. You will be successful. You will successfully finish your mission that has been given to you. And then you will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in absolute peace and contentment. For Rabbi Alamu Manjabil Huda, say, My Lord very well knows who comes with guidance, who has brought guidance. Waman who Afiz al Mubin, and the one who is in the manifest error on the wrong path, apparently on the wrong path. And O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you were not expecting and hoping that this book will be sent to you. He was not that type of person. He was a trader. A normal human being. He was never, you know, after the Kahins or after the Rabbis and after these people to learn some spirituality, nothing of this sort. He was a gentleman, having good moral character, lovable behavior, and a successful trader. He never expected, he never thought that this book of Allah will be revealed to him. وَمَا كُنْتَ تَرْجُوا أَنْ يُلْقَى إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً مِنْ رَبِّكَ Except this, that it has been a mercy of your Lord to you. Allah has chosen you. You were not expecting it. That is why the, when the first way he came to him, he was astonished. He was perspiring. He was trembling. When he came back, back from this Mount of Noor, from the cave of Hira, after the first revelation, he was perspiring, I can think, trembling. And he said to his wife, Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha, Zammeluni, Zammeluni, cover me up, cover me up. In the khashit wala nafsi, I, I fear for my life. What is going to happen to me? What is this new thing that has come to me? What is this responsibility that, that has been put on my shoulder? So it was nothing that you aspired. It was actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assigned you with this task. مَا كُنْتَ تَرْجُوَ أَنْ يُلْقَى إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابُ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً مِنْ رَبِّكَ فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ زَهِيرًا لِلْكَافِرِينَ So you should not be a supporter of the disbelievers. What does it mean? The disbeliever might be very much dear to you. Abu Talib might be very much dear to you. But you can't ask my forgiveness for him. Any other disbeliever? Maybe he is very dear to you. But if he disbelieves, he is not accepting your call, then don't ask me for any forgiveness. فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ زَهِيرًا لِلْكَافِرِينَ 
ولا يصدن كان آيات الله بعد اي زلزلت اليك and let them let not these disbelievers divert you from the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they have been sent to you wadu ila rabbik and keep on calling people towards your lord keep on keep on keep on calling in the former surah we had wan atlu al quran i have been commanded that i should continue continue reciting quran unto you fa man ihtada fa inna ma yahtadi li nafsi hu ever gets the guidance when he gets the guidance for himself his own benefit wala yasudanna kana ayat illah ba'da iz zulzilat ilayk wadu ila rabbik wala takunanna min al mushrikin and don't be in any way don't be in any way from among the associators wala tad'u ma allah ilahan akhar don't call with allah any other god la ilaha illahu there's no god except he kullu shay'in halikun illa wajha everything will vanish everything is fani everything is temporary everything is halik it will disappear and vanish from existence illa wajha except his face except his countenance now this ayah is very profound you know there is a concept that when the doomsday is coming a part of the universe will be destroyed not the whole of the universe yawma tubaddalu ard wa ghayr ard wa samawat the shape of this world will be changed the shape of this earth will be changed the shape of the heavens will change but it is not that every existence will cease no but in the long run a time will come when everything will cease to exist except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kullu man alayha fan wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalal wal ikram a time will come kullu shay'in halikun illa wajha lahu al hukm for him is the authority wa ilayhi turja'un and to him will you be returned بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذلك الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info@tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.